welcome to Desert Fest Berlin, where I have Lucifer with me. Uh, guys, this is like basically a home field for you. So, how does it feel to perform in such a big uh, festival in Berlin? It's awesome. Um, we have been talking to Desert Fest for years about uh, playing, and now it finally happened, which was great. Uh, it always feels good to be uh, home <laughs> and see a lot of familiar faces. Okay, and how is uh, Lucifer Circa 2018 doing otherwise? Good. <laughs> no, it feels really good. I mean, there's a new lineup which feels really good. Yesterday was our fourth show with a new lineup and uh, yeah, it, I've got a pretty good feeling about this. Uh, I don't know, what do you think? I think it's awesome. I think, uh, I mean, Lucifer from the start was uh, a very beloved baby, but now it turned into a whole new monster with a new lineup and we just have like four great first shows behind us. So we are stoked. There's a lot of great things happening with a new album and so on. So I'm full of fire for it. Oh, yeah, you uh, just mentioned the new album, uh, Lucifer 2. Yes. So how would you uh, describe the album in your own words? Is that for me? <laughs> after, yes. after all the rave reviews, you know, what are your own words about the album? Uh, I don't know. How can I answer that possibly? Um, obviously, I love it. Um, I mean, that would be weird to say anything else. Uh, well, maybe yeah. I could say because it is different from the first Lucifer album, which was um, um, because that first album was written with Gaz Jennings of Cathedral. It had a very particular sound. And now um, the new album that's written with Nicke and me um, is even more so in the vein of what my original vision of Lucifer was. So I'm very stoked. I think this new album digs even deeper into the record crates of the 70s and opens up even more because there's a whole variety of different moods and songs um, in there. Um, and I think it opens up, hopefully, to more people. It's For me, certainly, it, it was um, an expansion. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and uh, how was the yesterday's gig for you guys? Oh, it was awesome. I was a little bit nervous because it is a new lineup. So um, we've been like in the rehearsal room for a while and then we played three shows and yesterday it was the first festival. So um, um, we came very late to the festival. We were the last band to arrive because we had to drive all the way from Copenhagen. So it was a bit stressful, but um, the um, resonance from the audience was awesome. So it felt really good. Yeah, I think we... We kicked ass. <laughs> no, he's, he's not serious. <laughs> well, I, I had a really good time. I think we all did. I had a yeah. great time. Yeah, it's a lot of fun for me to play the new songs because I do. I am really in love with Lucifer too. Okay, and um, how do the festival gigs differ for you from the normal, let's say, uh, club gig? It seems like uh, quite many of your uh, upcoming gigs are in festivals. Well, it's, uh, yeah, we're closing in on summer, so, yeah. Uh, I don't know. Well, they're lo they're, the festival gigs are way shorter. Because the last three gigs that we played were club shows, and we played way over an hour. And at a festival, you're reduced to yesterday, what was it, 45 minutes, maybe. Yeah. So then you feel maybe like you can't bring the whole spectrum. But then maybe it's also a good thing if you kind of condense it down to the smashers. Uh, I don't think, I mean, playing wise, it's for me personally, it's not a huge difference. It's more like everything around it. Yeah, because you don't have a sound check. You know. And it's not just for you. 
but it's also a lot of fun because then you meet a lot of your peers and uh, friends and in other bands and so on, which is fun. But it can be a bit chaotic and stressful. But I think it's both good in its own way. Yeah, I mean, it's it's a bit of a luxury thing to have both. Because there's some aspects with a small club show that are really nice. But also there are other things at a festival that are really nice too. Yeah, because at a club show you have this intimacy, you know, usually like the stage is a lot smaller, at, well, at least at our stage. Yeah. <laughs> and so you're more immediate to the crowd, you have their faces right in front of you. So the spark doesn't need a long way to travel, uh, while at a festival stage everything is very big and far away, which is also very uplifting in yeah. a different kind of way. No, I think both are good. Yeah. Okay, yeah, you already mentioned the lineup changes a couple of times. So, uh, Nick, how did you end up with the band? You are, of course, known in Finland for, you know, in Tom, uh, Helicopters, Imperial State Electric. Uh, it started in the early fall of 2016. Mm -hmm. We talked, uh, well, we talked a lot about Blue Oyster Cult, me and Johanna. And, uh, oh, one of our favorite bands. Yeah. And um, when Gaz left uh, in November, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Gaz November. left right after a tour in November. Yeah. Um, uh, we talked about that. <clears throat> and um, I mean, I don't know exactly how, how it came about, but we talked about maybe doing something together. And that's what we did, basically. Well, well yeah, Gaz left and um, for a moment uh, I did not know uh, what direction this could go. That kind of, when you put such a full stop to it where your writing partner leaves, um, you have to kind of rethink everything and then Actually, Nick was the one who was like, but maybe we can do something together. I'm like, nah, come on. Uh, you just do this because you like me. Like, you kind of had to convince me that you're genuinely <laughs> interested. Well, and then we I had to push a little bit. Yeah, had to but, push a little yeah. bit. But then um, we started exchanging stuff. And as soon as like we had the first song done, it was clear that it was is, a really good thing. This is going to yeah. work. And then it was just kind of flowing. And, and then since um, Robin, the guitar player, or one of them, <laughs> one of the guitar players, um, he's also from Sweden, so we just started making the album together, the three yeah. of us, after we wrote the songs together. And yeah. it just, I, I also remember from the beginning, we weren't really sure what I was going to do, playing-wise. Playing-wise, because in the studio, because um, Nika almost played everything in the studio. He played the drums and then he recorded bass, guitar, and then Robin, who was in Lucifer before as well, he came in and recorded additional guitars and then was me on vocal. So it was just the three of us recording, so we had to see what he's going to do live. But he wanted to play drums. Yeah, I miss playing but drums a lot. He already so, has so. enough bands where he plays guitar. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, so that choice was pretty clear. Yeah, and yeah I think that's, that's one of those things. One thing leads to another. Mm -hmm. And after a while, it, it seems very obvious, you know, that... It didn't when we first started talking about it, but now it seems like a no-brainer. Yeah. And uh, it just feels really good to write songs together, because I usually write songs myself, alone, and I didn't really know how to, so I had to ask you how you did it with Gas before. And yeah, because he's so used to writing songs with his own vocals in mind, and here, he all of a sudden had to reduce it to, okay, I have to keep that open for her to do vocals. 
And then he sent me the music and then I did my part. I wrote lyrics and uh, the vocal melodies and recorded demos at home and sent them back to him. Yeah, and we talked about arrangements. And, yeah, and, and, and it, of course it's like surprising because maybe he would have done it a different way. So yeah, you have course. another singer all of a sudden giving you something else. Uh, no, that it. But, the, but we it. share so many visions. Um, musically, we... Uh, it's actually quite incredible to run into somebody where you're so much on the same page. Like stylistically, we are into a lot of the same things, like bands and you know um, um, visual things. So you know when it comes to like designing stuff for the band, which we always do on our own. Yeah, which and, you did yeah. alone before, and now we're two. Now we're two. Yeah. No. No, it's very fruitful. Yeah, but let's stop being too spinal tap. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, but uh, so uh, what were the main inspirations for the new albums, music and lyrics? Well, for me, I was inspired by the first album. Uh, that inspired me a lot. I, I think that's how, how, it got me, how it got me going. Um, tuning down, which I haven't really done for rock and roll i've done it with in tune yeah tuning down to see sharp the classic black sabbath tuning and uh that was an inspiration in itself and also i mean i think i don't know we're both such glorious the cult fans that's a really big inspiration but at the same time i get inspired by anything i listen to same here. So it doesn't matter if it's yeah. like, it but could be Neil Young. You may not be able to hear it, but it's still an inspiration. Yeah, but if he says he was inspired by the first album, I was inspired by, fuck yeah, now the door is open to do a whole lot more. <laughs> so, and lyrically also, I wanted to, um, uh, of course, you know, Magic and so on played a big, big, bigger role on the first album and I want to open it up a little bit more because uh, I'm a rock and roll girl um, by heart and um, anything emotional, you know, the big topics of life, love, death and whatnot. Um, I thought it could be not only musically but also lyrically a little bit more open. Yeah. Okay. Uh can we go to a very easy question? Yes, it's, please. It's, yeah, it's, it's very easy. So uh, maybe not, uh, what does your music uh, mean to you? I mean, uh, as a genre, maybe not stoner or like doom metal, but, uh, but we rock don't and play roll. Yeah, yeah, but rock can and I roll. say something? Because yeah. Lucifer is not a stoner band. I don't know why um, <laughs> that I have to say that because it's so weird. I hate the word stoner. Sorry to say that. Don't mean to offend anyone, but Lucifer was never a stoner band, never said they were a stoner band. And I don't know why people keep saying that. So I think I'm going to make it a mission in the interviews for the new album to say, Please don't label us Stoner because we're not. We are a rock and roll band. We are a hard rock band, heavy rock band. Yes. yes. So, what does rock and roll mean to you guys? Everything. That's not, that's not an easy question. <laughs> no. But then again, it also is at the same time because, I mean, that's, I know, the, the, we live that life. And that's. Um, I got raised by, the, by my mom listening to the Rolling Stones since I was a kid. That was my mother's neck. And um, I love the free-spiritedness and to disappear in music and I love people who are rock and roll and yeah that's the thing that keeps you going the music it sounds so cliche but it is what it is yeah I guess I, I just love music and my <laughs> favorite music is rock and roll so that's <laughs> yeah I don't know. exactly it, it, mm. if you don't get it you don't get it if you get it you get it and you know, it's take away music, you take away everything. So yeah, so it is. yeah. We talked about like if you had one of your senses to stop working, Nick. Uh, Nick's first answer was, "Well, I'd rather be blind than deaf." So there you yeah, go. Of course. <laughs> uh, amen to that. <laughs> so, uh, uh, is there any bands you are looking forward? seeing tonight tonight because of course yesterday you were playing yourself yeah unfortunately we don't have time to see any bands today 
because we we're talking to you we're talking to you <laughs> and then we talk to more people and then we have to like run and throw ourselves onto like uh, a cheap airplane to go back to sweden so we can be out alone in the wild and work on our next <laughs> things work on three mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, fair enough so uh, other than that any other plans for lucifer for the rest of the year uh, yeah, we have another video coming out. We're going to play a lot of festivals. We're going to plan more tours in Europe and hopefully, hopefully then uh, America. But mainly, we really just can't wait to get back to the studio to record the next album. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, <laughs> thank all you. The best. Pleasure. <laughs>